Son of a... Stay tuned. <laughs>Welcome back to GamerMeld. GPU prizes have flown out of the stratosphere and are on a collision course for Mars. If you remember, I did a video just a short time ago about a future impact of $5 to $20. Well, it's way worse, and according to PC Gamer, it's due to exactly what it was last time. Higher demand from cryptocurrency mining, though they're really not 100% sure and mostly think it's Ethereum getting to $1,000. I think the issue for companies' response is that it's... It almost seems as if at any moment, the bubble could burst and currency owners would go into panic mode trying to recoup costs. One way would more than likely include selling off current mining gear, which would cause a massive influx in the used GPU market and ultimately leave GPU makers with their metaphorical pants down through tons of excess stock. So yeah, basically you may want to watch for a good deal, but so far just about everything has gone up and certain GPUs like the GTX 1070 and RX 580 have hit levels of insanity. That or they're just sold out. Something will have to happen eventually though, whether it's GPU manufacturers upping production or cryptocurrencies become less profitable. Let's just hope something happens soon. Next up, AMD has issued a statement on vulnerabilities to the three exploit variants of Spectre and Meltdown. They expect a simple OS update to fix the vulnerability to variant 1, which seems to have already begun making its way to users for both Windows and Linux. For variant 2, they're still comfortable that the risk is minimal but they're working on microcode updates and OS patches and will actually be making firmware updates optionally available to Ryzen and Epic owners this week with older CPUs in the coming weeks. What you want to do is check with your motherboard maker or PC supplier for those updates. As for variant 3, AMD isn't susceptible due to their architecture, so mitigation isn't required. Next up for today, I've got a slightly less bad story, maybe perspective is everything. Either way, Intel has officially released benchmarks to highlight performance loss from their last three CPU generations running the Meltdown and Spectre patches. And they're not that bad. As you can see, Skylake seemed to get hit the hardest with 79% of the performance it had prior to the patch on Windows 10 and Sysmark 2014. From very early tests, one major issue seen by PC World and TechSpot is a pretty massive drop in certain read and write situations from storage. It more than likely won't have a huge impact on day-to-day -day workloads, but it's not a good thing to see and more tests need to take place. Speaking of bad things to see, I have more bad news. I'm, I'm sorry, please don't hate me. But those patches seem to be causing issues with processors rebooting on systems running off Haswell chips and Broadwell chips. Wall Street Journal actually got their hands on a memo warning big customers not to install the patches yet and have issued a statement on the problems they're seeing to everyone. As TechCrunch suggested, these exploits are pretty major issues, and once people were made aware of it, I'm sure they had to speed up getting the patch out. Either way, Intel is suggesting for consumers to still apply the updates, so I can't make a call as to what you should or shouldn't do, as it's a possible risk either way. Of course, if you want to stay updated on all this hardware stuff, make sure to subscribe to GamerMeld. And of course, let me know what you think. Are you just upset about these GPU prices once again going up? Or do you not really care and just want to make sure that your PC is protected? Let me know down in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.